In this video, we're going to be checking out this cheap webcam coming in at under $50 on Amazon right now. This is the Rockware RC28. Full disclosure out of the gate, this is a sponsored product demo. And really the only terms of the sponsorship, of course, is to demo the product, talk about some features they wanted me to mention, and go over some of the use cases. In this video, we're going to go over the hardware as well as do kind of a side-by-side -side demo with the built-in webcam on this uh, Minisform tablet that I'm running off of right now. And of course, check out their software and check it out in OBS Studio. So first, I did kind of pre-record some general unboxing. On the box itself, it says it's a 1080p AI-assisted webcam with a pro recording microphone, which in itself is kind of weird because if we look back here on the uh, sticker it says it's a 2k camera and within the box the manual says 2k it does support 2k resolution at 30 frames per second and 1080p at 60 frames per second this right here is the webcam and it is kind of a beefy boy this is a logitech camera that i use quite a bit and you can see it is just a little bit maybe an inch wider or so on the front of the camera we have the actual camera which is right here we have a sensor over here, this is a microphone, so it has a full dedicated microphone on the side as opposed to a lot of other webcams that use like a single pinhole for the microphone, so hopefully it does have some decent audio quality for a webcam on here. This built-in microphone has a diameter of 10 millimeters, helping it to better collect front sound. With the addition of a six millimeter omnidirectional microphone, which should give us better performance compared to current products on the market, which most are four millimeters. And viewing it with some light in the back here, you could actually see the big microphone kind of floating in there. One slightly unique feature is this little slider on the top actually has a hardware camera cover that you can slide and block the view of the camera. So if you're one of those people who like put a sticker on the <laughs> built-in webcam on your computer, this is nice because you do have that functionality. And not only is it a physical cover, but it can actually detect if it's slid over. So it will just completely block the video feed from going to your computer, which is nice. And then going over here on the back, we have a larger speaker. So if you're plugged into something with absolutely no audio and you want something just to get some audio out of your machine, that could be a little option for you. We have a USB-C in. It does come with a cable. It comes with a USB-C to USB-A cable. And right here, this little thing that looks like a fingerprint is a simple touch button, which allows you to adjust the field of view between 65 and 85 degrees. As you can see here, giving us a pretty wide look. There's also an option to press and hold for eight seconds to switch between landscape and portrait mode. The LED will flash purple and automatically restart and then you can rotate the webcam and use it as such. It has a rather standard webcam mount, so you just open this up and put it right on the back of whatever device you want to use. It does swivel both forward and back and side to side, so you can make that adjustment without having to completely move your camera. For example, this Logitech that I have here is roughly double the price. It has the forward back tilt, but no side to side. So when I use it, I have to kind of move my monitor around to adjust it how I want to. It's nice that you don't have to with this one. On the bottom, we have a mount, so you can put it on a tripod or any accessory like that if you'd like to. And that's the hardware. Now the hardware is unimportant if the actual uh, picture quality isn't good. So what I'm gonna do real quick is plug it in and open up their software so we can check out some of the options. All right, so we are testing this out on Mac OS. I'm actually using their microphone, so this is what it sounds like if you're interested. Uh, when you first open it up, we have some camera control. I'm going to switch the field of view real quick, see if I can. But over here we have some basic camera control. We have a, a zoom functionality, so you can use this to zoom in and kind of uh, move it around like so. I'm going to zoom back out. We have some brightness and uh, contrast control here. We have blue shift, but those are grayed out currently. We have image style, so live and meeting. I don't see a difference personally, but we do have some uh, flips, horizontal flips. You can change the field of view here, but I do think they need to update that, at least on the Mac version. But right here under advanced settings, this will bring up a bunch of different stuff to get more uh, details into the sharpness, white balance. So if I did want to like edit that, for example, now it looks kind of green, but I can move it around and fix that. Auto, I think, does the best job of making it look more natural. Anti-flicker, the zoom exposure. Uh, we can set manual focus, so whoa. you could do that, and the autofocus is fairly decent if I go ahead and close this out with something. Oh, look, a comb. So if I put this in front of the camera, you can see it focuses on it, and the rest in the background is blurry, so the autofocus is pretty quick. Uh, additionally, we have audio effects, so right now audio is enabled, as well as our algorithm, 
and a hi-fi so this is what it sounds like with those enabled I'm not sure if there's going to be a difference but if I disable that that's what it sounds like if there is and if we go over here to effect right now the only option they have in their software is auto framing which is pretty cool it kind of gives us this uh there we go tries to keep my face within the uh, center of the screen to the best of its ability and then over here under upgrade we can see the information on the software and if there is firmware this is where you could go ahead and do that so let's jump back to our windows machine and check out obs on there because i have a webcam down there to actually compare it to and there we go now i was playing with this earlier you could see i my head dropped into the corner there uh let's go ahead and actually disable that for now and kind of show you some of the options that we have with this camera with an OBS. So here is the camera selection. If we configure video, we see something that looks rather familiar. This is the brightness, contrast and all that. So we can edit it through here. For example, white balance. Let's let's make this just a smidge warmer. There we go. That looks a little more uh, what it should. And we have all those settings here, including camera control, which the exposure is going to be here. But right now, it's looking like a pretty, pretty good shot. Down here, we can set it from, right now it's at uh, 60 frames per second, uh, 1080p. So you can see here, that is 60 frames per second. Bump it up to the 2K option. Then our highest is going to be 30 frames per second. And then we could kind of see what that looks like. Slightly more blur, but that's pretty typical with frame rate. And the camera, there's no really lag. It's doing a pretty good job of matching what I'm saying with my mouth. Here we have video formats, our color range settings, and we do have color space settings, which is nice. If I hit OK, let's bring myself back in and go full screen, get rid of this cropping. There we go. So this is a full recording in OBS at 2K, or at least 2K uh, through the actual canvas and the recording software. And you can kind of see it compared to my uh, Canon camera. I'll kind of do a little split view real quick. So this is what it looks like versus the Canon. I'll do some post to kind of get the colors to line up a little bit better. But we could, what we could also do additionally is if I do make this a little smaller, let's bring in the webcam that is on this Minisform tablet here. So let's enable this. Oh, that's the back camera. Hi there. <laughs> there we go. So now I can kind of hold this up so you could see the differences in color and clarity. Uh, the Rockware is kind of has a little bit of a green hue to it, but I could probably fix that by playing around with the settings a little bit more. Camera on the top corner there is the built-in webcam on this Minisform tablet, and then the bottom one is the Rockware. So for 40 bucks or 50 bucks, depending on when you buy it and what uh, deals are available, th this really isn't looking like too bad of a camera. If you're somebody who's a streamer, you could drop it in OBS just like this, bring it down, maybe crop it a little bit, and put your uh, game capture in the back, and you're good to go. Or even if you did want to edit it through here and mess with the uh, configurations and the colors and all that, uh, instead of using their software, you could go in OBS, edit this, and use the OBS uh, virtual camera, and then push that to something like uh, Zoom meetings or your Google Classroom or whatever type of webcam reason you have to actually use one of these. So now what I'm going to do is just a real quick sound test of this camera versus the built-in microphone on this tablet. It's a premium tablet, so do note that, as well as I'm recording over there. This is the audio from the camera, the little shock mount camera on top of the Canon M50. This right here is the microphone, the Fifine USB microphone that I've been using for this entire video. And if I switch this, this is the microphone that is on this uh, little Minisform tablet here. So that's what you're getting. And this is recording on Mac OS upstairs. I think my computer was bugging out. The picture quality on this actually looks a little bit better, probably because it's got some natural window lighting. And what you're listening to right now is the microphone. So let me know down below how it sounds. And just for giggles here, this is the built-in webcam on this uh, M3 iMac and the iMac Audio. So you get a comparison in that regard too. So yeah, that was my video. I'm going to finish off the end of this video using the webcam. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in uh, purchasing this camera, there'll be a link down below, as well as links to other things that I may have mentioned in this video. And with all that, big thank you to Rockware for sponsoring this video. I don't really do dedicated sponsor videos like this that often, but they do allow me to get the resources to make better content in things like home lab uh, tutorials, uh, product 
and software demonstrations, things like that. So big thank you to you guys and big thank you to you for watching this video. I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.